hello again and welcome back to my channel today's video is an unboxing slash first impressions i have been obsessed with the jinhao 82 lately i have purchased these off of amazon and they come in a pack of two so i have been really just obsessed with the platinum chamomile tea and so i decided to frankenstein this pen using the jinhao 82. this might be a tad excessive on my part but i was determined to do this and i just thought it would be a lot of fun if you look at the chamomile tea it does look a bit translucent but i went with the matte colors and I purchased the yellow, the turquoise, and then the white pens in order to create a similar color combo. And I do think it looks pretty comparable to the picture at least. It's not like exact, but I do like how it looks. And of course there are Jin Hao pens that are also kind of transparent in these colors so that might make it a little bit more you know exact but definitely a nice color combo and i do think it looks really nice the cap is a little bit different than the platinum but you can mix and match the different colors which i just think is a lot of fun and it is a you know nice alternative price wise it has the same style and look of the platinum and the sailor pens minus that higher price tag. I do think that the nibs aren't the best, but I'm just not a fan of fine nibs and they only come, at least on Amazon, in an extra fine or a fine nib. However, this does lead me to another unboxing, which is for the Sailor Dragon Palace from the Fairy Tale series, I believe. It was on sale and I just went for it. However, I do kind of wish I went for the Siri instead, just because that one comes in a medium nib and this one a medium fine and it is just too fine for me. I am really in love with my Sailor Nuts in the medium size nib and I just really wish that Sailor would come out with individual nibs, like you could purchase nibs individually or I just wish that their sizes were available for all of their pens because I really am just not a fan of their medium fine. I am just not a fan of the way this nib is performing. So I think I will have it worked on the next time a nib grinder comes to drum goals, just so that I can maybe get it more flowy of a nib. But I love the color of it. I am tempted to see how the Siri looks next to it. I believe Yoseka did a comparison and I think the Siri has more of a green, a greener look and this one's a little bit more bluer and I think the series a little bit more translucent. I, I can't really remember it off the top of my head, but it is a beautiful pen and I probably would have liked that one more just in terms of having like a medium size nib, but this one is so pretty as well. Like I, and it was on sale for like 95 or, or something like that on Amazon and I just went for it. And you know, it's not like it's the the, the worst nib I've had, but it is just not to my liking, so I'm hoping I can get it adjusted, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I am a little disappointed with how Sailor 162 is performing in it. I just, it looks, this ink is one of those like undertoned inks and obviously with a thinner nib, it's not going to show up as green as I want it to be. So it's like more of like a gray purpley color right now. I'm also going to try to buy another converter for this pen. Right now I'm using just an empty out cartridge and I've just been refilling it so I think maybe if I get a converter maybe that'll change the flow of the ink into the pen I don't know or maybe the pen is just not as flowy as it could be so I'm again I'm hoping to get it adjusted here's how it's looking right now with the medium fine nib still a very beautiful pen and I'm I'm enjoying it a lot I am also curious on the differences between the 162. I had it inked up in my Quebeco Opal as well. This nib does have a custom grind. It is a Curse of Italic and it, it looks more blue in this pen than it does in the Sailor. So it's interesting how this ink plays around. And here's a comparison of the other pens mentioned in this video, the Jin Hao 82, which has also been a lot of fun to use. I actually purchased some medium sized nibs for them and I'm actually waiting on some Curse of Italic ones and I'm hoping that those will be good, but we shall see. 
I will update you once I get those in the mail, but my two sailors along with the two Jinhao 82 pens I've currently inked up. I'm not using any of the other color combos at this point, it's just the avocado and then what I'm now calling my Frankenstein chamomile, which I kind of call it Frankie. <laughs> Frankie chamomile or after Frankie from One Piece, not an exact color match. He wears red. This pen doesn't have the red, but it does have a lot of the other colors that Frankie wears. Now I want to make a video just going over pens that remind me of my favorite fictional characters. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely going to do the rest of the Straw Hats probably, or even just other fictional characters that I really really like. That'll be fun. But I digress. And because I just had to journal about my new pens, I just decided to rewrite the comparison after jotting down a few thoughts about my new pen. Again, I love trying out new pens, and even though the nib isn't my favorite, I do hope to adjust that as time goes on. You know, you never know. I may end up liking it more. I think I might change out the ink to see if a darker ink color changes my opinion over this medium fine nib. Because I do remember when I had the Sailor Pro Gear Mini, I had a medium fine nib in that one, and it worked really, really well. Like, I was really happy with it. So maybe I will change my opinion as time goes on. And I do want to say that the medium nibs I switched out in the Jinhao 82 are rather similar to the medium fine. I wouldn't really say that these are the like standard medium nibs that I've used in other pens, but you know, different brands will have different sizing. So I'm trying not to let that bug me too much but I will definitely keep you updated on the new nibs that I get for my Jinhao. And of course, the Sailor Nuts just is the best. I just love this pen so much. But that's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know what color combos you would use. There are several different colors. I mean, the color combos are just, there are so many different ones you can make. But of course, I'm really happy with these blues and greens and earth tones, and I'm happy with my Frankenstein chamomile dupe over here. <laughs> but I will catch you in the next video.